He was one of the founders and leaders of the radical committee that opposed the establishment of the white settler-dominated Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland. A man labeled as a danger to peace and public order by colonial government and sent to prison in Livingston for eight months. He was also one of the founders of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy, MMD. Hi, I'm Victor Sims, the Z Historian. And in this episode, we remember Simon Zukas, one of Zambia's heroes and greats. Born on 31st July 1925, Zokas arrived in northern Rhodesia on 26 July 1938 from pre-war Lithuania to join his father, a Jewish settler who had earlier migrated to the industrial copper belt and established himself as a successful trader. Unlike South Africa and southern Rhodesia, northern Rhodesia did not restrict Jewish settlers. Simon arrived in Indola speaking only Yiddish and Lithuanian, but he was soon top of the class. After completing his secondary education in Luansha, he would later win a scholarship to study civil engineering at the University of Cape Town. Zukas is also remembered for having volunteered to do wartime military service and spent three years with African troops in East Africa. According to Zukas, in his book, Into Exile and Back, the fellow white recruiting officer thought he was not mentally sound for volunteering to go for war. In 1947, Zukas took up his university place and became a radical socialist. His time at the University of Cape Town coincided with the inauguration of apartheid which thrust him into radical student politics and inspired him to join the main nationalist movement, the African National Congress, when he returned to northern Rhodesia. In northern Rhodesia, Zukas is said to have been the only significant white figure of the nationalist struggle. When white settlers and the colonial regime intensified their campaign for the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, Zukas, alongside other young militant nationalists such as Justin Chimba and Ruben Kamanga, formed the Anti-Federation Action Committee in April 1951. The committee began rallying thousands of Zambians, especially those on the influential Copper Belt, to resist the formation of the Federation. Zukas himself believed the Federation would only serve the interests of the white settler minority, thus further disadvantaging the black majority and delaying the attainment of independence. His significant role in early African nationalism was recognized by the colonial authorities who deported him to Britain in 1952. In exile in London, from 1953, he became co-founder of the Movement for Colonial Freedom and was from 1960 a member of the London Committee of the United National Independence Party Unit. He further met and in 1954 married Cynthia Robinson, a South African artist, and set up a successful civil engineering consultant. Zukas remained in London, encouraging nationalist movements across Southern Africa throughout the 1950s until returning to Zambia at independence in 1964 at the invitation of then First Republican President Dr. Kenneth Kaunda. Zukas took Zambian citizenship in October 1965. Back in Zambia, as a qualified engineer, Zukas offered the Young Republic his professional expertise and was responsible for the structural designs and supervision of major public constructions such as Parliament, State Lodge, the University of Zambia School of Mines, and the flyover bridge on Greatest Road. Further national involvement was expressed through his board membership to state institutions such as Industrial Development Corporation, Zambia National Building Society, and the National Council for Scientific Research. 
For more than 20 years, Zucas devoted himself to civil engineering and commercial farming. But in 1990, disillusioned by the one-party state and Zambia's economic decline, he became a founding member of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy, MMD. And following the defeat of President Kenneth Kaunda and UNIP in 1991, he joined the new government and served as Minister of Agriculture and then Public Works. He resigned in 1996 over a matter of principle relating to the political rights of immigrants and their children, but returned to politics in 2001 as one of a group, the Oasis Forum, that successfully opposed Frederick Chiluba's attempt to secure an unconstitutional third presidential term. He then became chair of a new opposition party, the Forum for Democracy and Development, FDD, stepping down in 2005. Simon Zoukas is remembered by many as a man that stood by his principles and was never afraid to speak his mind and championed the interests of the poor and disadvantaged Zambians. In September 2021, 10 days before his death, in support of Zambia's third peaceful change of government through the ballot, Zoukas led a delegation that called upon newly elected president, Mr. Hakainde Kichilema. Simon Zoukas was accorded a state funeral by the president and his funeral was marked by a day of national mourning.